Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. In this video, we are going to learn how to automate maintenance logs with Pabli Connect. So I have created an equipment maintenance form with the help of Google Forms. And now my objective is that whenever an employee is going to raise a request for equipment maintenance by submitting that form, I want to update that same to my team members on Google Chat space. So how we are going to automate this entire process? For this, we will have to set up a connection between Google Forms and Google Chat. And that we are going to do without any coding or programming skills with the help of Pabli Connect which is an amazing automation and integration software. So Pabli Connect works on two principles, trigger and action. So in trigger, we are going to take Google Forms and in action, we are going to take Google Chat. And we will simply connect both of them to automate this entire process with the help of Pabli Connect. And to learn this entire automation step by step, let me take you all to my screen. In this video, we are going to learn how to automate equipment maintenance with the help of Pabli Connect. So I have an automobile company and I have created a Google Forms for equipment maintenance. Now, whenever there will be a need of any kind of improvement or changes or maintenance in any particular equipment which the employees are using, and as soon as the employee is going to submit this form, I want to share the updates regarding the request raised from the employee to the equipment management team members on Google Chat space. Now, because we have multiple employees and multiple equipments in our organizations that are being used, therefore we cannot do it every time manually for each and every employee and for each and every request. Therefore, I have automated this entire process with the help of Pabli Connect in which I have just set up a connection between my Google Forms and Google Chat space in such a way that now whenever a new request will be raised by an employee for equipment maintenance through Google Forms, automatically the update will be shared on Google Chat space. Okay, so I have not used any kind of coding or programming skills in this entire process because Pabli Connect allows us to set up connections between multiple applications to automate all our tasks without any coding or programming skills. So this is the home page of Pabli Connect where we can reach by tapping this URL pabli.com slash connect in our browser. After coming over here, we can find two options, sign in and sign up for free. So if you are an existing user, you can directly click on sign in. But if you are a new user, you have to click on this sign up for free button to create your free new account. Also, when you will create your account, you will get 100 free tasks every month to explore this amazing software. With that, you can also test multiple automations according to your choice. Okay. Now, because I'm already an existing user, therefore I'm clicking on sign in. So this is all app section where we can find all the products which are offered by Pabli. To create this automation, we are going to use Pabli Connect. So let's click on access now. And it has taken us towards the dashboard of Pabli Connect. So on this dashboard, we can find all our workflows, which we have to. So on this dashboard, we can find all our workflows, which we have created. And we can also create different folders over here to save our workflows accordingly. Now to create a new workflow, we have to click on this create workflow option. Let's do that. And here a dialog box will appear in front of us. Okay, now it is asking us to provide a name. So first of all, I'm going to provide a name over here. Automate maintenance logs with Pabli Connect. After giving this name here, I'm going to select the folder in which I want to save this workflow. So I'm going to save this workflow in this folder, Automations for Operations. And now let's click on Create. In this way, you can create different folders to save your workflow separately. Now, as we have done that, we can see that two windows are open in front of us. First is the trigger and the other is action. So what are trigger and actions? Trigger and actions are the two main concepts or the principles on which the entire automation runs. The trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. That means the action is the response towards our trigger. So whatever we are going to select in our trigger is going to command the entire workflow and the actions are going to follow that same command. Therefore, we can have only one trigger in any workflow, but we can have multiple actions as we want. Now, let's suppose we are going to take Google Forms over here in our trigger and Google Chat in our action. And we want that whenever an employee is going to submit the maintenance request through Google Forms, then we want to send that same request on our Google Chat space to our team members. So here we can clearly see that action is following what the trigger commands because when the trigger happens, that means when the form is submitted, then only the message is sent on Google Chat, otherwise no. So after understanding the concept of trigger and action, let's start creating creating the workflow step by step. First of all, we will select our trigger application and that will be Google form. So let's select that. And now we have to select the trigger event. So trigger event is the event on the happening of which the workflow is going to trigger or start. So new response received will be our trigger event over here because whenever the new response will be received from Google Forms, instantly the workflow is going to trigger. Okay, so here we can see that a webhook URL is provided to us along with some instructions. Basically, we have to follow the instructions given over here very carefully to set up a connection between Google Forms and Pabli Connect. And for that, the webhook URL is going to act as a bridge because it is going to send the data from Google Forms towards Pabli Connect. So first of 
of all let us copy this webhook url and then i'm going to tell you exactly what we are supposed to do for that i'm going to first of all take you towards my google forms and basically this is the form which i have created for equipment maintenance request okay so whenever the employee will require any kind of maintenance in the equipment they can submit this form for the request what kind of equipments are they using and it contains the following questions such as how frequently do you use each of these items are there any specific instructions or guidelines for the maintenance of these items please describe the issue or improvement needed for the selected equipment how urgent is the request how does the current state of the equipment impact your work or productivity any suggestions for improving or resolving the issue in the equipment okay if they want to provide any kind of suggestions by themselves as well are you aware of any policies or regulations related to equipment maintenance in our organization so these are the questions okay these are just the basic questions if you want you can just make the changes in this particular form according to your choice and your requirements now when the form will be submitted i want to receive the response in public right for that we have to set up a connection first of all and to set up the connection we have to go towards response section so when you will click on this button view in sheets you will find two options view in the existing sheet or you want to create a new sheet so you have to click on this create a new sheet button so as soon as you will do that your form will be linked automatically to the google sheets okay now whenever a form will be submitted the response of that form will be captured in google sheets so i have already linked my form with my google sheets and the google sheet over here is named as equipment management responses okay now these are all the fields which we have in the form whenever the form will be submitted the response of that form will be captured over here in this particular spreadsheet in a new row okay so apart from all the questions which we have in our form it also contains an extra field that is timestamp that means on what date and at what time the form is being submitted now you can see that in this particular spreadsheet we have the column up till m okay so now we have to set up a connection between this google sheet and public connect in order to send the response so whenever the form will be submitted first the response will be captured over here in google sheets and because we are setting up the connection between this google sheet and public connect so automatically the response will be captured in public connect as well now first of all we will record the data over here in our spreadsheet for that we have to go towards our google forms we have to go towards send section and this is the link of the form so i'm just going to shorten the url and i'm going to copy this link i will open it in a new tab and basically i'm going to make a test submission over here by entering all the details okay so i'm going to submit this form so let's start with the name let's say the name of the employee who is submitting this form is smart employee i'm going to enter a random email address department let's suppose operations what equipment machinery do you use okay so let's say i'm going to select computerized systems how frequently do you use each of these items daily basis i'm going to select daily over here are there any specific instructions or guidelines for the maintenance of these items i'm going to select yes over here please describe the issue or improvement needed for the selected equipment what kind of improvement do you need so i'm going to select feature updates over here okay how urgent is this request hi okay how does the current state of the equipment impact your work productivity major impact do you have any suggestions we can also add virus protection in our computers are you aware of any policies or regulations related to equipment maintenance so i'm going to select yes over here now let's click on submit and the form is submitted so we will go back towards google sheets and here we can find that the response is captured okay so now after capturing the response in google sheets we want to set up the connection with this google sheets and public connect so that we can send the same response towards public connect as well okay so in our spreadsheet we can see that we have the columns up till l so now we are going to go towards extensions and here when we will click on extensions we will find the option of add-ons so when we are going to click on get add-ons it is going to take us towards google workspace marketplace so basically here we have to search for public connect webbook so when we will do that basically public connect webbook is the add-on which we need to install in google trees to set up the connection with public connect because i've already installed this add-on so i'm just going to cross this and once you will install the add-on for the first time you also have to refresh your spreadsheet so that you will be able to find the option of public connect webbooks under extension now because i can find the option let's go towards initial setup and basically we have to perform an initial setup over here in which we need to enter two details to set up the connection so first of all let's paste the url which we have already copied from public connect in this webbook url field and then next is trigger column so the concept of trigger column says that whenever the data in the spreadsheet will be entered up till this particular column immediately the entire row will be sent towards public connect so it is also given in the instructions that the trigger column will be your final data column on which if the data is added the whole of that row will be sent to the webbook url so because i have the columns in my spreadsheets up till l 
so l will be my trigger column over here because i want that whenever the data in the spreadsheet will be added up till l then the response should be captured so i'm going to click on send test button to send the test response towards Fably connect first of all and as the test data is sent successfully so let's click on submit to submit this initial setup and after doing this let's click on cross now i'm going to go back towards Fably connect and here we can see that we have received the response in the response we have received all the details okay so here are the details related to all the questions which the employee has submitted and also we have received the details related to the employee now because we have received this response our objective is to send the response towards google chat space to our team members so that the team could be updated regarding the issues which are raised by the employees for equipment management so for that we will move towards our action step and we will simply select google chat hangout in our action application and now we have to select the action event as well so our action event will be create message to send the message we have to select this action event and now let's click on connect after building the connection, let's move forward. Here we have to set up chat webhook URL and the message which we want to send. So first of all, how we are going to get this chat webhook URL? For that, we have to click on this learn more hyperlink and it is going to take us towards Fably forum page. When we will scroll down, we will find all the instructions to get the chat webhook URL to set up the connection between Google chat space and Fably connect. So first of all, we have to copy this URL from here. Okay, now I'm going to take you towards my Google chat space and we have to go towards the name of our space under under the name we will find the option of under the under this name we will find the option of apps and integrations. So after selecting we will find the option of webbooks. Now we have to click on this add webbook button to create a new webbook first of all and then we have to provide a name to this webbook. So we have to be very careful while entering the name over here because this name is going to be displayed every time when the message will be received in Google chat space. So I'm going to give the name as equipment request okay after giving this name here i'm going to paste the url which we have copied from Fably forum page and now let's click on save as we have done that we can see that our webbook is set up over here now this is the chat webbook url which is required in Fably connect so i'm going to click on this three dots we will copy the link and we will quickly go back towards Fably connect and paste over here okay after doing this let's move forward towards entering the message what message we want to send so here i'm going to set up a very quick message so here i'm going to send the message as so this is the message. Hello team, a new request is raised by an employee for maintenance of equipments. Here are the details. Employee name department request for the equipment maintenance required suggestion request priority. So these are the details which I want to send to my team members. Basically the details are of the request which is raised by the employee. Please check for the need and make sure to provide the improvements required as a as soon as possible regards okay so one by one i'm going to enter the details now so because we have already received all these details from our earlier response so we will simply use mapping mapping is inserting data from previous step here our previous step is given and here are all the details now first of all we want to map the employee name so we will quickly map the name of the employee when we will select when we will search for the name over here it is going to redirect us towards the name of the employee so it has redirected us towards the name of the employee so we have mapped that now when we have mapped this data it has become dynamic that means with each and every new response it is going to be replaced now so whenever a new request will be raised automatically the name of the employee is going to be replaced in this field and a new name will appear over here in this way we are going to automate the entire process but if we will enter the data manually then it will become static and then it is not going to replace okay now in the same manner we are going to map the department as well okay now for what equipment the request is raised the request is raised so here i'm going to search for the equipment so here we have received the response from google form that the request is raised for computerized systems okay now the next is maintenance required what kind of maintenance is required over here so it so here feature updates is required now the next is suggestions so what kind of suggestions the employee want to provide okay here we have the suggestion and now at last i'm going to map the priority so the priority of this request is hi done we have mapped all the details and this is the message so now i'm going to click on save and send test request button and as soon as we have done that we can see that we have received the response in the response we have also received a sender type that is bot this means that now we have set up a bot for google chat space so whenever a new form response will be received for equipment management request then automatically the bot is going to send a message on google chat space so let's go and check and yes, here we can see that on our Google chat space, we have received a message just now. Hello team, a new request is raised by an employee. Here are all the details related to the request. This is the employee name, department request for maintenance, suggestion, priority and all other details. This means that our connection between Google Forms and Google chat is perfectly successful. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to test this workflow once again. I'm going to go back towards my Google Forms and I'm going to submit another form response with all another details. Okay, so I'm going to shorten the URL. I will copy it and I'm going to open it in a new tab. And now quickly I'm going to enter the details. So let's start with the name. Let's say this time the name of the employee is test employee. The email address is 
okay department is let's say operations once again what kind of equipment i'm going to select hand tools how frequently do you use each items daily okay are any specific instructions or guidelines yes please describe the issue okay we require new hand tools now here i'm going to select the urgency of this request as high how does the current state is i'm going to select major impact do you have any suggestions we can purchase second hand tools now the next is are you aware of any policies or regulations i'm going to select yes now let's click on submit as soon as we have submitted this form let's go and check whether automatically the response is received in google chat space or not and yes here we can see that we have received another message over here on google chat space with all other details these are the same details which we have recently entered in the google form so this is the employee name test employee and these are the details okay so this means that our connection is absolutely perfect so let's just quickly summarize what we have done here in the workflow so we have taken two simple steps trigger and actions in trigger we have taken google forms and in action we have taken google chat hangout and we have connected both of them with the help of public connect in such a way that now whenever a new form response will be received for equipment maintenance then automatically according to the response a new message will be sent on google chat space to our team members who are going to look into the request that the request is received okay in the same manner you can very easily create this automation step by step without any coding or programming skills okay this will help you to automate maintenance logs with paply connect this was it in this video i hope this was helpful for you thank you for watching not only these applications but you can integrate multiple such applications without any coding or programming skills with the help of paply connect now if you have any doubt you can reach out to us at support@paply.com if you want to ask any query you can reach out to us at forum.paply.com and if you have any pricing related issue you can reach out to the website given over here now if you find this video helpful do not forget to share it with your friends and also please like our video and subscribe our channel for more such amazing automations